The Freedom Tower at Miami-Dade College was founded and erected in 1925. Uh, this was a time during Miami's great economic boom of the 1920s. This historic Freedom Tower uh, was actually built and modeled after the Cathedral in Seville, Spain, and is very reminiscent architecturally uh, to other places in the city, including the Biltmore, and was uh, basically designed and, and constructed by the famed architecture firm of the time, Schultz & Weaver, who also did the Waldorf Astoria in New York City. Uh, they were sort of the architects du jour of the day. Uh, this magnificent tower was actually built for the Miami News. Uh, during this time, there were two newspapers in the city of Miami. Uh, one would be the Metropolis newspaper, the second being the Miami News. Uh, there was a major merger and buyout, and the Miami News uh, built this tower uh, for that time period. In a time in Miami when you had this great sort of uh, population increase, you had this sort of need for media, and you saw this sort of great area of wealth uh, sort of form Miami that we know today. This building has had a very historic and major role in this city. Uh, it sits right on, the, uh, right on Biscayne Bay, one of the major thoroughfares in the city of downtown. And it also, too, is one of the last preserving uh, buildings within this downtown uh, area from this 1920s uh, time period. The building was actually served as the newspaper from around 1925 through 1952. Um, and at this time, the entire paper was built and also distributed through this building. Uh, so it held the uh, agencies for the media, the writers, the actual owner of the newspaper had its office in the building. And the building actually served both as a printing facility as well with the large printing presses in the back of the building.